stupid idiot. Big stupid idiot. Welcome to Down the Wire. Today in Backpage News, we got another chess anal beating scandal. Also, later in the show, robbers had their getaway car stolen. And to wrap up our show today, cops were caught throwing a party after raiding a weed farm. Today's episode features special guest Izzy Rose. Let's get into it. My last memory with the fat computer, the oldies, the dinosaurs, was uh, watching two girls, one cup, and then the computer stop, breaking. Stop. <laughs> yeah. Did it actually break? Yeah. Got I a virus. Why? <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah, then my babysitter saw it. Say that again? And then my babysitter saw it. How old are you? What? How old are you? <sighs> like 18. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, how old is your fucking babysitter? Jesus Christ. 16. Yeah. <laughs> Izzy Rose. Yes. Shout out. I appreciate you coming on the show. Thank you. Hitting our quota, me. our diversity quota. For <laughs> yeah, bookings. exactly. Yeah. The token black yeah. person for 2024. We're starting off really well. Gay black woman is going to buy yeah, us like three months okay. here, dude. Don't start with that one. What? Because we have to fight the allegations now. What? This is my moment to actually fight the allegations. What? You're not the black? The gay allegations. Oh, that one. That one too, but... That's for a different time. But the gay allegations, thank you for mentioning that. What do you mean? Because now you're playing with my shit. You're going to open my DMs to just way more stuff that I'm just not trying to do. Stop looking at me like that. <laughs> you're actually such a dickhead. <laughs> I can't. But yeah, black, not gay, singer, you almost got it. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Same? Yeah. <laughs> you're such an idiot. Why do people think you're gay? I mean, look at me, man. Yeah. Have you yeah. tried like not looking gay? No, it's not. It's not in me. Mm -hmm. I realize that like I just don't help myself in that right. situation. I've been told by multiple gay people. Yeah, you just don't help yourself. But I, I'm not trying. <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm not trying. I just I've been told. It's just how you feel inside. <sighs> Fuck off. <laughs> the way I dress and my my how would you say? general vibe yeah oh, man i swear to god <laughs> <laughs> i swear to god man i don't know my well, mannerisms now, I, i'm kind of pissed because i thought we just bought ourselves three months of interviewing right? more straight white That's what dudes your fucking but now, roommate said. yeah man you know what his roommate told me he's like yeah when i saw you last time he's like i just didn't hit on you because i thought you were gay and i was like what oh, a gentleman that right <laughs> thanks for the compliment man i appreciate it so sweet i love that shit this is the first time anyone's ever told me that to my face yeah i was like oh okay yeah i knew that was like the general consensus but no one's ever told me that to your face no not to my face i've known it's happened like just from afterwards, let's say, but no one's ever told me that to my face. Like, oh yeah, no, I just didn't do that because I thought you were gay. I said, oh, mm. good to know. Just uh, clears the air right there, but thanks. <laughs> Did you think I was gay the first time you met me? I still think you're gay. <sighs> <Fuck>. <laughs> Coleman? I'm like, help me out here. <laughs> I don't see sexuality. Oh my God, <laughs> guys, come on. You're in like the Narnia closet right now, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You're deep in there. I'm deep, lost, can't find myself. I've been searching for years, man. It's been a while. Still can't figure it out. Hey, I told you. I'm like... Why not, though? I told you it would be better. It would be better. I kind of... I'm kind of angry at the fact that I'm not. I feel like that's wrong for me to say that. But it's true. <laughs> like, It's I'm, wrong for you to want to be gay? Like, to yeah. Like, I'm like, you I feel like being, it would be better to be You think be being gay is wrong? <laughs> See, it's your words. you're trying to get me into some your, shit no, this energy I've, right off the top is crazy yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro it's not my fault look so at this guy confrontational, look bro. at this guy right now what the fuck did I do I'm trying to fucking come with he's like so you're not <laughs> fuck no there's gonna be a banner at the bottom of the screen like breaking news oh as he hates gay people oh my god or she's just gay. <laughs> she's It'd be gay. one or the other. <laughs> Breaking news as he comes out on Down to the Wire podcast as not gay. Cl clip it. Oh, before that. Ah, before that. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, no. I feel like it would be it would be more beneficial to be bisexual because then I wouldn't have like I wouldn't just be tied down to the one option of your species. You so, wish you were bisexual. Yeah, yeah. I'd have way more options. Like half gay, and half I would straight. Slay. <laughs> <laughs> I would take all your hoes. <laughs> like, bro, past, present, future. Half gay, half straight. 
What the fuck? What? Bisexual, right? Is that what that means to I don't you? Know. Half straight, half gay? Half gay, half straight. Or just like gay, right? Because. But. I'm, I would be part of the queer community. Let's just say that. If I could choose, I would. But unfortunately, I can't choose. And I am heterosexual. I do think that that's like unfortunate. But. Like your Look roommate me. probably has way more fun. Because he's bi? Yes. Yeah, I don't know. He's a. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't trust him though. I don't I'm not buying it. You know I think he just sucks one dick every eight months so that he can say he's bisexual so okay. he can use the F word. That's also telling. You know? Because it's not much to suck a dick. Wait, not, say that again? What? <laughs> okay, do you have anything to say? What? I feel like you're the breaking news should be shits for you. <laughs> breaking news. Jacob Rego likes to suck dick. All right, hard transition here. Um <laughs> Let's get into the news. You know our back page news? Yes. You a fan? Yes. You know what the breakdown is? Yeah. So for those of you that don't know, our back page news is we find the weirdest, most obscure stories going around the world. It's basically back page news of stories you're not finding on the front page. Okay. Starting off with, sorry, I'm using my phone because Coleman has to use my laptop because his laptop's broken. Uh, So professional. First headline I got here reads, so basically this Chinese chess champion got his championship revoked because he pooped in a hotel bathtub, but he was also caught cheating via anal beads. I think I did hear about this. You did hear about this, but it's a different story now. This is like a thing in the chess community where they're starting to use anal beads. Yeah, like Morse code. Because this happened with, what's his name? Um, Hans? Hans Niemann. That's, Hans Niemann. I think that's what yeah. I heard about. And it happened again with this guy. I cannot pronounce his name. Fact guy, the Han- please. The Hans Niemann one um, was like, Pretty. Sh- I'm pretty sure that's not true, but this one apparently has more evidence to back it. This is Yan Chenglong. Chenglong. So it was the Chinese Chess National Championship, and he won. And there's allegations of him cheating because he would have anal beads in his butt, and then someone else, like somewhere yeah. else, would like see the game how it's going on, run it through a simulation or something like that. Imagine and whenever they would Morse make a move through your asshole, dude. You have to not only you have to learn Morse code. Through your butt. Through your butt is crazy. Yeah, it's insane. <laughs> <laughs> but I heard about the first story. Yeah. And like, didn't he double down? The first guy. I'm pretty sure the first what guy like doubled down where How he do you was like, down and that? what? Like, what about it if I have anal beads? Like, he didn't say that he was doing, but he's like, what if I am sitting with an anal? Like, he yeah. was just like, fuck it. But he didn't say <laughs> he's cheating, but I'm pretty sure he like doubled down on the fact that he was like, and what about it if I'm sitting on something right now? And I respect that. Like, Stand it on your business. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. But so this guy did get caught? So he, there's allegations and they looked into it, but they couldn't really prove it. So they gave him the championship. Afterwards, he celebrated in his hotel room and then he pooped in the bathtub. And then that's why they revoked his championship because it was just like a bad character decision that they don't want representing the chess community. Imagine pooping in a dry bathtub. Oh, dry? I think it was dry because it ruined the floor. So then the hotel reported damages. Damages. They fucking used it the next day. 100%. Literally the room got booked literally four hours after. Literally after the cleaning ladies came by. What the fuck are you talking about damages? What are you actually talking about damages? I can't believe like he got revoked because of poop and not because of cheating. I was going to say after hours too is crazy. Like he do what you want. You're yeah. not in the game right now. What are you yeah. talking about? How do you else are going to celebrate winning the chess championship? Also the hotel like what? They called his like upper... Like what? How I think did the they, story they went called public. the chess authorities. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> what do you mean? That doesn't make any sense. I think like back to the beating though. I think it's kind of like you know, baseball players use roids. Okay. Used to weightlifters juice. I'm like use roids. <laughs> chess players beat. You know what I mean? Just let Fuck it be part of the sport. Hell. Let it be part of the sport. Make I it more mean, interesting. Get new fans in. Get more people willing to play chess because beating's a thing now. You know what I mean? It'll oh get more God. fans. Everyone has to learn Morse code through their asshole now. It makes That's people like smarter. That's like criteria. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, this is crazy too because I thought, I just assumed somebody else was like watching and then sending the codes. But this says Jan allegedly clenched and unclenched ryth- rhythmically to communicate information about the chessboard via code to oh. a computer. So this was a one man. Bro, <laughs> what? Oh, so he, he sent it to a computer straight. Yeah, it was like there was no middleman in, involved. Wait, so he would send wow. it to a computer and then the computer would send it back? Yeah. Wow. 
Okay, so like give the man his championship. <laughs> what are you talking That's about? almost harder than That's playing chess. So yeah. <laughs> That's so like, smart. That's way more impressed. Would involved? you not be impressed if you were like the boss? Of that, I, I don't know. That's crazy. That is insane. I would be cheese. I thought there was I'd a second like, wow. person involved, and I like the idea of having two people. Because I feel like the other on one the was that. Side. Like the first guy, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. He was sending it to some like guy. someone else was watching, yeah. and then the guy was sending it to him through like Morse code. Oh. He wasn't doing no clench workout. But the thing was... is, like we're talking about it. Like I think this will bring more attention to the sport. Let people be. Like let people have like a two man system going. <laughs> like, dude, okay, you want to bring new fans to the sport? Yeah, that's crazy. Let's get OnlyFans models. If I knew get them to start playing they chess. They all had like vibrators in their buttholes while watching. That would bring a different dynamic to the game. Get beads in their butts. Yeah. Have the OnlyFans models playing chess. Have them Morse code it to like someone who knows how to play. Oh my they gosh. Morse code it back. Every horse needs a jockey. Oh my god! And then we just sell millions of dollars, get ad revenue. That's, I, crazy. that's what I I'm like saying. It. Twitch stream it. Yeah, it'll be huge. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be huge. I like the idea that um, there's like you know because you know how in like sports casting there's like one guy who's like the analysis guy and one guy's the play by play. Yeah. I like the idea that there's one guy who's the chess analyst and one guy who's the beating analyst. So he's like watching their facial expressions. Oh, okay. And like, like the Kegel technique, like the clenching technique. It's like an X Games announcer, like r r saying a move. Yeah. Like, oh, that's a double eighty one ninety X. <laughs> oh <my laughs> you know God. what I mean? <laughs> so he's just like he's like watching their facial expressions and mm. like you know, like that's a nice clench pattern right now. I like that they're using the. I feel like you get more points if you straight face it. Yeah. It's like face. when you dive in the Olympics and there's no splash, you get more points <laughs> yeah. for that. Okay. Is is yeah. that how that works? Yeah. yeah. And there's variations in the code that they use. Okay, she's definitely not gay. She doesn't <laughs> <laughs> I don't want swimming. You fucking idiot. Oh, my God. I already told you, too. I'm like, the more you get to know me, the more you'll realize she's just, like, a straight piece of shit. That's literally what, like, Liam You're really not too. helping me. Now we need to book another gay black Well, woman. you have your, your black. You just have to get, like, the gay. You just have to do that. Mm. I'm so we think, don't have the woman part well, either? when John comes back. <laughs> I'm like, then you'll be back to getting, you know? Tune but, in for part two of this episode. <laughs> and then it'll be good. But yeah, I mean, um, this is interesting. I like it. I think we should bring more attention to the sport. Um, <laughs> everyone just start beating. Make it legal. It's like they just made roids legal in weightlifting because it just makes it better. Really? Yeah. You can juice up. Like, they stopped making roids a thing in baseball and like, plummeted you know what i mean really? let them roid huh. let chess players beat it'll get more people into the sport i'm, I'm telling where you. did this happen Chi china china uh xian ching king is yeah we probably should have got the facts out at the beginning but since we're at the end of the story it's not too late <laughs> yeah, yeah, Col yeah, Col yeah, can you worry. pronounce all of them the oh okay so the hey. name of the guy the name of the tournament <laughs> <laughs> and uh, where yeah. it was so the year. <laughs> it's also different a different game. So Xianqi is the name of the Chinese game. chess. Okay. So it's like a little bit different. Different kind the of chess. The pieces look yeah. way cooler. They do look cooler. The board looks cooler. Kind of looks like a Bagugan. Bagugan? Yeah. <laughs> it just looks like a fancy checkers game. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Um, But yeah, they don't uh, tolerate this kind of behavior. <laughs> in, pooping in, in the chess. The beating or the pooping? The pooping. They, the beatings they're cool. They, I was gonna say they were like da, they and then when he pooped, they're they like, prove nah. it. They couldn't That's prove it. That's crossing the line. Yeah. How could they prove the poop? I, he didn't clean up. I don't know. I've uh, never been pooping my bathtub drunk. That must have been a good night. That's crazy. Yeah. That's insane. I don't. No. <laughs> no. I never, no. I was gonna say I don't have a bathtub. But not at my apartment, I do. But no, never done that. <laughs> Speaking of my roommate, he uh, he was like, dude, I had the craziest dream last night. He's like, I was giving birth. And I was like, don't tell me you woke up and pooped the bed. And he's like, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. <laughs> also, Mike, speaking of bathtubs, remember how you said you were going to wait to remind me about your bathtub story? Oh. <laughs> now I'm so excited because <sighs> I couldn't fucking remember. And he's like, just wait. I'll tell you later. I'm like, okay, okay, I'm so, ready. Here's the thing. It's not going to make sense at the start, but just hear me out. So a couple months ago, we played touch football. Okay. Uh, it was run by Senate. It's a bar in Ottawa. There's a bunch of locations. Like it, was, Senate, it was actually really like dope. Tavern or yeah, 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 yeah. They did it at fucking TD Place. So it was sick. Mm -hmm. um, so much fun. Haven't played football in like eight years. Keep in mind, it was touch football. 
All right. And I played quarterback, so I wasn't even doing much running or anything like that. Okay. The next day, dude, I was so sore. Like I actually woke up like and couldn't move. I just actually couldn't move. And then I, I second that also. That happened to me. Right. Okay. We dude, didn't talk was, about this. It was brutal. We didn't talk. You no, were playing. Too? I think yeah. everyone was embarrassed that they were sore after playing touch. <laughs> just so no one talked about it. Yeah. It's like playing like flag like rugby or like anything like that too it's yeah like, ah, why are you flag rugby like she might be gay i take it back i take it back <laughs> fuck so anyways i'm super sore and like i just i hate to admit it but i was so sore to the point where like you took a bath i took a bath dude I, as crazy. a man i took a bath yeah as a man it's crazy with epsom salt oh and dude I liked it. Oh, uh, no. Nah, as a man, that's I like, crazy. I know. <laughs> it is fucked. Yeah. That's insane. Just like your balls floating. Just looking at that, you're like, this. What? I should just kill myself. And you were trying like, to tell me you're not gay? <laughs> no, I never said that. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay, okay. <laughs> but it was good? Oh, I loved it. Did I, you stay there until he like, got all pruned up? Yeah, I had my feet out of the tub because I was too big for the tub. So I was like this. Like my feet. We're like this. I'm like, you have to use someone else's bathroom to do that because you don't have a bathtub. I use my mom's bathtub. Oh, you were at your parents' house? Yeah. Okay. I went home. That's funny. Mom. Mom. I'm sore. Can you please fill the <laughs> bath for me? <laughs> yeah, it was the Wait. first time her bathtub got used. Really? Yeah. I feel like everyone's parents' bathtub is like that. It's just for aesthetic? Yeah, like my mom has- I think moms just like having stuff to clean. So they just get oh, houses with bathtubs in it. That they keep it's ridiculous. My mom has like one of those like nice ones that have like a jet. It's kind of like a little jacuzzi. Oh, you know. Oh, and like, I would have killed for that. She never fucking. She never uses it. I swear, we've all used it maybe like once, and like at the same time. Mm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, don't talk about my family like that. Um, no, yeah, I don't think she's ever used it, and like she's lived in that house for probably like like over seven years and i don't think she's ever used it wow that's a know. shame she's cleaned it though you're right <laughs> <She's cleaned laughs> she cleans yeah, it. yeah yeah for no reason it just collects dust damn yeah but it's nice i should have went there yeah you should have went there yeah but um i don't know when this was i'm like i don't know if you would have had access to it i'm barely at my mom's house i don't think she would have let you in just some random dude yeah like, hey i know your daughter a random some- white guy <laughs> showing up to my mom's house is crazy my mom would close the door right away she would call me and be like what oh, she's are racist. you doing no she's just scared of white people <laughs> she's scared that's fair yeah that's fair very fair yeah. <laughs> i'm like do i need to say more <laughs> or no i didn't think so all right another hard transition um next back page news story we got here reads um i like the headline it says, dude, where's my getaway car? <laughs> Suspects find automobile stolen during armed robbery. What happened was these guys were robbing this check cash. I don't know. What's it called? It's like a bank, but not. You have my laptop, dude. So you got to be like on it. <laughs> I forget what they robbed. What was it? A check a cashing check, yeah, check service. Cav- what is that? A what? A check cashing service check cashing service yeah. i guess they it's just not a bank they just trade checks for cash this is a state's thing right yeah, yeah for sure yeah, yeah. okay so th- these guys were robbing this place and all three of them got out of the car left the car unattended and then a fourth person came in and stole their car while they were robbing this place I and see. then when they walked out they were like dude they where's my car? car and then they ran away on foot and then police caught two out of the three and they're still looking for the third and the person that stole the car. There's a video of it. If you go back to the note. Wait, they're there's... still looking for the person that stole the car? And one of the people that did Was the armed right. robbery. Okay. Yeah. I like the music. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. No, play the Wait, music. Wait, I was going to say I liked it. <laughs> yeah, play the music. I liked it. Wait, can you start that over? Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. The emojis are funny. Yeah. Maybe. I like how the car this person. exactly. Yeah. Is that a woman? Free car. Yeah. She's so happy. And, and then it just, just takes off. I realized it was running. Taking this was posted by the police Twitter account. And they edited this. They edited this. <laughs> like they put this together. Where did this happen? Commerce City, which is in. Where is that? 
Colorado. Colorado. That's crazy. So police released a statement being like, thank you to this person. Come here so we could shake your hand and then cuff him after. Because like you're also under, <laughs> you're yeah. going to be under arrest. So I mean, what if you were I like, think you just let I him was off. only doing like you guys a favor. Yeah, if you, if you like do a criminal, no. If you, <laughs> if, you, if you do a crime on a criminal. Does it get canceled I out? Does it get canceled out? Does it get canceled out? Yeah. What if you were like, I just, I just took the car and like moved it down the block just to make sure that you know you guys would catch them. Like I didn't actually take it home. Mm. The know? way she ran towards the car too. <laughs> yeah, she looks funny. way too excited. She, she looks like, like she was just fucking around. Like, <laughs> yeah, I want to fuck does. with these guys. It looks like she was literally <laughs> fucking around. Like the way she was running. That's crazy though. And now she's facing twelve years. <laughs> that's crazy. I don't know about that. But yeah, I don't yeah, know about no. That. But. You're right. I think if she would just like moved it a little bit and then was like, I got him. Yeah. They would have been like, that's funny. But also, yeah. why did I, I assume she must have because they're still looking for the car. The car right? and her. Yeah. <laughs> so she was like, no, I'm peace in. There's supposed to be a getaway driver. Not all three people yeah, need to rob weird. the joint. That's like, very interesting. Have you never watched like a movie or anything? <laughs> like, yeah. There's supposed to be at least one person that stays in the car. You know, when they always say like that one person, like, yo, you stay back and like keep a lookout in the yeah. car. And they're always like, oh, I want to be a part of it. It's like, no, it's actually an important job. Yeah, it's like the out. most important yeah. job. Because you have to be as like the most attentive. Yeah. You're watching for all angles. How do you feel you would be as a getaway driver? You know, I can't drive. <laughs> <laughs> you know you, i can't drive you say that because you're a woman or you actually can't yeah no oh. i'm like if i did drive i would be bad because i am a woman right well and i'm not gay <laughs> right because gay women know how to drive so that's another aspect okay that's a stereotype so, i don't know about right? that one. um i don't know how to drive if i did know how to drive i would be the best getaway driver ever yeah i, I and i stand on that i think i would be really good at it if push came to shove no could you get away drive I think I could. I think I could. I've driven a car like... You look like a two-foot driver. What the fuck does that mean? I feel like you just seem like a two-footed driver. Oh, like... <laughs> you, <laughs> like you drive with two feet. <laughs> I feel like it's easier, no? <laughs> I feel like that would be easier. Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I? Get to the fucking gear faster, everything, you know? Yeah, yeah, It'd be yeah. easier. And like, when you drive manual, don't you drive with two feet? You do, yeah. Yeah. Automatic drive a one. I don't know how to foot. drive manual though. I'm not that much of a man. <sighs> no, I don't know how to fucking I I'm like I understand the concept of it, but I would never fucking try. Um I feel like give me a few drives and then like if you ever need to rob anyone or anything, I'll drive for you. But you can't drive. No. I can't. I can count on my hands how many times I've driven a car. And like one time I was in high school and my friend let me drive her mom's car. I'm like, I won't say who it is because if even to this day, if her mom found out, she'd be like, what the fuck? But she let me drive her car and her boyfriend at the time was in the passenger seat, like giving me pointers, like telling me what to do. What time was this at? It was during the day. Okay. It was, it was broad daylight and I was going through a roundabout and then he started yelling at me. I forget why. You know, just people are teaching how to drive some people are calm some people aren't he was yeah, not yeah and he's like just do that and he started yelling and i started panicking and i just like drove the car onto someone's like lawn <laughs> on their grass and then like suddenly stopped <laughs> right in front of their fucking living room window oh wow. thank god no one wow. was home no one was in their driveway like uh, yeah great. thank god no one was home and then i just Every, like as soon as it stopped it was like quiet you know there's those moments where you're like i almost died but no one died so it was yeah, just quiet yeah. for a good 10 seconds and then i got out the car and i said get in the fucking driver's seat i'm not doing this shit i literally i was like i'm not even reversing you rage this quit. car out of not <laughs> even i was just like you just controller disconnected me, yeah <laughs> and i'm like see what just happened it was all your fault. <laughs> it could have been good. It could have been great. I could have went smoothly through the roundabout. Okay. But you decided to yell. That confirms it. She is a woman. Yeah. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Don't yell at me. I'm just a girl. It's your I'm fault. I'm just a girl. Yeah, no. So. I was picturing you just going and not knowing how to get off the roundabout. <laughs> <laughs> just going just around going in around circles. For like 15 That's minutes. That's funny. And they're all no, screaming. No, no, no. No, 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 no. You ever see a, what's that Christmas movie? Like National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation? I've never seen it. I know that, that a movie like that exists. You, know, you ever heard of that? No. Like uh, the Griswolds? I don't ring a bell? Chevy Chase? Nope. 
No, not doing no. that. No. All right, never mind. Nope. There's bad reference. Yeah, no. Nah. There's this I'm scene in the movie where they do that. Re- okay. Because they go take a trip to Europe, and Europe's just all roundabouts. Okay. And they're caught on a roundabout for like hours. That's funny. Yeah. I feel like people still here don't know how to use roundabouts. No. They're like in- implementing more and more, and somehow you'll find one there. There's still traffic. It's like why? They're supposed guys- to avoid that, right? He- there's not supposed to be any traffic why is there traffic at the roundabout because like, you'll stop at them and yeah, they wait for someone to it's go it's so stupid like in my mom's neighborhood there's a bunch now they took away a bunch of lights and just put a bunch of roundabouts mm. like a lot and still sometimes you'll go there and there's heavy traffic every time i'm just always in awe i'm like okay you know <laughs> but again i, I used, don't drive so i can't i used to like fucking with people when i was in high school driving around neighborhoods that had roundabouts and i would go like the wrong side mm. down the roundabout it was funny. I feel like that's, that's like a classic. <laughs> that's like, not funny. That's a that's classic like eighteen year old dude who just learned how to drive thing to do. Yeah, my friends also would do that, but like they almost got hit like several times trying to fuck with people. Yeah, my dad would do weird shit too. Like he, you know, like when there's like speed bumps, mm-hmm. and then in the middle of the road there's like a little like pole between. Yeah, yeah. They, like and it flops. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I didn't know it flopped. And my dad was fucking with me and he was going right for it. And he was like speeding up for it. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? And then he ran over and then just like Daffy Duck yeah. beats, just fucking but went back and fuck forth. Up your, the, like the bottom of your I know, car. he just didn't care. And I was like, what are you doing? He's like, well, every time he does something on the road that's suspicious, I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm a professional driver. I've been doing this for 40 <laughs> years. And I'm like, all right, I can't. That's you do something for thing. 40 years. Yeah. Like, you gotta be. Then you, know? you won't change. I made really. a bet with him once that <clears throat> he couldn't hit every single green light on when we were driving somewhere. And he was like, okay, bet. And like, if it was a red light, he'd be like two kilometers away from this red light, see it was red, and he would just drive like literally five kilometers an hour <laughs> until it would be green. Yeah. And then he would go like yeah. 90. And yeah. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Smart, smart man. Work yeah. smarter, not yeah. harder. <laughs> literally. All right, next headline we got here uh, reads Weed farmer outraged over cops throwing pizza party after raid. So these cops raided this guy's weed farm okay. that was legal. He had all of his papers. He was allowed. He it was a legal weed farm. Okay. He showed them their papers and they're like, nah, raided it, kicked him out, arrested him. And then had a pizza, then had a pizza party at his weed farm. <laughs> destroyed Those are police officers. Destroyed, funny way of saying smoked, but destroyed $10 million worth of product. Jesus Christ. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Ordered 75 pizzas. What the fuck? Yeah. They were smoking that weed. For sure, dude. I don't, I don't know how damaged, boxes. Damaged, you can't smoke ten million dollars worth. Eat seventy five pizzas. How many police? Are, like how many? People? I don't have a number. I feel like it was either like two hundred or five. That's what I like. <laughs> like I'm yeah. expecting there's like five sleaze bags in there. Yeah. Like, yeah. Just close the door. It's so like the We're next done day. For the, night. the next day, cops had to go back and like retrieve cell phones and radios because they got too high and forgot shit there. Yeah. So is the guy like suing? He's suing. Yeah, okay, he's suing now. Okay, but that's crazy. I just can't get over the $10 million. Because I don't think... You can't smoke $10 million. So I did some research and... You can't smoke ten million dollars worth you of weed. You can't. You just can't. Hey. I don't care if Wiz Khalifa, <laughs> Snoop Dogg, and Seth Rogen are in that hey, fucking room. I mean, I don't know. You're that's not, a crazy combo. You're not smoking that much. So I, I was on some chat room. Now, I don't know if this is a conservative chat room, a liberal like, chat room. What are you room, doing? But it definitely takes an angle. What I don't know are you which way doing, it's going, brother? But <laughs> on your own time? <laughs> is this guy? Like, what kind of chat room are I you in? I was in a chat room is a crazy way to start this. Bro, <laughs> I'm in a chat room. About? I don't know if it's a conservative, if it's liberal. I don't know if I'm I in... Just, I, it was about this specific story. I didn't read anything else. It's about this specific story? Yeah. Okay. So it's called... Because I just Googled it after. I was like, okay. I got to read up more on this. There's only like two stories about it. Okay. So I want to see if anyone else is talking about it. It's called Lemmy.World is the chat room. And this guy's talking about it. And one guy in the comments goes, not even joking, but they often burn it in a fire they all stand around, which obviously gets them high and gives them an excuse if they're tested. So I'm sure they actually smoked some too. But bringing... Pounds of it explains how they got high enough to not only order 75 pizzas, believe all the boxes there, and then drive away after. Am I the only one that's like imagining like a KKK circle right now? <laughs> you just said like they're standing around and they're burnt. I'm like, I don't know, man. That's all I'm picturing. This was written by at give some fucks. Um, so give some fucks. <laughs> he says apparently what the cops do is when they raid weed places, they'll just burn they it. They just burn it. 
and then it gives them the excuse after to be like, if it, they oh test God, positive, it's like, high. oh, I burnt because we burned it. So I think yeah. maybe they just burned ten million dollars worth of product, and they all got high off of it because there's no way you smoke that much. Like, no, there's no way. So that's crazy. Yeah, he's pissed. Property was also damaged. <laughs> he's pissed. <laughs> <laughs> he's pissed. Yo, he's high key cheesed, fam. Bro, I but, would uh, be cheesed as well. That so is yeah, insanity, and I hope he gets compensated for that. Like you know 10 times back tenfold because what the fuck especially if it's like it's legal you should just be relaxing and then like you're still coming on my property and causing me trouble and then you're gonna fuck up all my shit like yeah how do you fuck up shit at a weed party because also it's like even if he gets compensated which great but it's like you still have to it's plants like he still has to go through the <laughs> whole plants. process <laughs> of doing the whole thing again yeah. it's not like i mean obviously yeah he could buy a bunch but it's just like come on man like i put yeah. my heart and soul yeah into that's this. insane also it was legal partially because he had um some kind of agreement like the weed farmer had some kind of agreement with the local like indigenous uh i see or, like it's in oh. america so i'm gonna say indian tribe it's not correct here. That's but crazy. It's, le- it's a wow. legal thing. <laughs> wow. It's a legal thing in America. I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> That's how they <laughs> native guys. indigenous. I'm so, like, use any other word, man. Come on. <laughs> in America, the legal term. In America, they're racist. You don't have You're to right, comply. Actually. No, no, no. You Thank don't have you. To hey, hey, wait, hang on. Thank you for checking me on that. Thank you for checking me on that. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I acknowledge I you. you. Guys, I hear you. Token black person, 2024. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here. Okay. So this anyway. is also a hate crime? Well, no. What it is is because like it's sort of sovereign land, he's like able to operate like a weed farm. Like was he on, on a reserve? Uh, I think it's on a reservation or like it, it says tribal land. Okay. Um, Even tribal a little bit. Yikes, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's a little crazy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you guys missed oh the part where we cut God. out lo- <laughs> Coleman making the sounds too. So. Oh, Jesus. Fuck you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we made him take off his outfit before the start of the show. <laughs> anyway, they also confiscated three hundred thousand dollars from the safe of these indigenous. No okay. way! Bro. Wow. Love police. Wow. You know, they Damn. just be doing whatever they want, apparently. Um oh, that's crazy. How do you this feel kind about of makes the police? You like, how do I feel about the police? Yeah, just in general. I don't know, man. I feel like there's a lot of people when you talk to them these days, they talk I about I don't like this accent you're doing. Like, like, I'm like, oh, what do you want to like people like when they want to be a cop and they get asked what do you want to do? And they're like, You want to be a cop? People are like, Why? It's mm-hmm. like why not? Like you get to yeah, do shit and just get away not, with eh? it. Not good. It's not good, but, but like, you, I could see why you'd want to do it. I hate that. I was talking to a cop actually. A friend of mine's buddies with one. A friend of mine is roommates with a cop, and then he had all of his cop buddies over one night when I went to go see my friend. And I was asking him questions. I was like, dude, like the classic. Like, you ever shot anyone? Shit like that. But then I got like more progressive. You ever to, shot like, anyone? I was like, because he was smoking weed the whole night. So I was like, are you guys like allowed to like smoke? And he's like, yeah, it's legal, just not on duty. Yeah. Wink. And then he gave me a wink, and I was like, what do you mean? He's like, oh, we were high all the time. Okay. All the time. He's like, it used to be drinking because he said his dad or uncle was a cop, and he said when his dad or uncle was a cop, that generation would be drunk on the job yeah. the whole time. And he's like, now it's stoners. Everyone's just high all How the time. How old are these people? Uh, like late twenties. Mid oh, to late okay. 20s. So like yeah. young. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense to me. Though. And they're cops in like a pretty bad area in the okay. GTA. So they're like tracking legit criminals and they're just stoned. Yeah, and that's like, crazy. Like the one of the... Actually, I probably shouldn't say this story because they're going to know who I'm talking about. But yeah, like, yeah, yeah, no, like it's fucked. Like they're <laughs> yeah, fucked. They're scratch literally, that, scratch that. Yeah, it's crazy. It's, and I went to high school with one of the guys and I was like, you just haven't changed. You just... High school, you but a cop. But like, you just have a bunch of power. Now. Yeah. yeah, gun. That's scary. Yeah. So bad. Yeah. I am scared. Of yeah. The so, <laughs> like the the yeah. timeline of this, basically, the sheriff's department. <laughs> what? Sorry, that just reminded me. Like you saying you're scared of the police. Like, yeah, but like it's like remember we went to that convenience store, and they had a camera. They wouldn't let us in, like because convenience store <laughs> yeah, doors locked. Now, like, yeah, that yeah. a camera. <laughs> me and her are standing next to each other. And the camera <laughs> just zoomed in on her. My face. <laughs> My and the, face. And the door wouldn't unlock. And I was like, <laughs> yo. 
and like he didn't see it at first That's and i was looking crazy. i'm like did you just see that he's like no i'm like the camera just zoomed in on my face he's like what that's where i'm like bro i promise you the camera just zoomed in on my face and then he saw and then it happened again and i was like you just saw that turn right around, turn around bro and then turn back around oh my god i was like yeah no i know some guys in the back right now zoomed this in. Nah, in i'm not opening the door right there <laughs> fuck off man. Fuck. that was actually ridiculous i was like <laughs> i was so cheese and he actually didn't open the door like but, no one opened that's the door. when racism's funny though yeah <laughs> it was, i'm like yeah. for the bit for the bit yeah. thanks i appreciate it thanks for content for the podcast yeah anyway. literally i just want to go over the timeline because i think this is like extremely fucked and just while we're ragging on cops the sheriff's department basically heard about this weed farm in like a news report and they were like whoa that's weird because that's in our jurisdiction so we should probably go have a party there <laughs> and they pulled up um or they, so they met with they i guess they made some inquiries and the owner his name is mccormick he like went to the sheriff's department and was like here's all of our paperwork it's like sovereign land like i can do this i have permission from the like the reservation or wherever and they were like okay and then they just raided it anyway and they went like in full like militarized like SWAT gear. Oh like, wow! Because like American police are just fucked. Yeah. Um. So they like went and then oh like the indigenous people or whoever was like representing this area. Now he says like, indigenous. <sighs> <laughs> it's hard to parse <laughs> this thing. It's written in American. <laughs> it's written in American. It's written in racist. <laughs> to Canadian while we're doing this, we're having this conversation. Um, they pulled up and then they were like, you guys, hey, you can't, like, this isn't your territory. Like, you can't just come with your SWAT gear and guns and stuff. And they were like, you guys don't know what you're talking about. That's literally what they said to them. Like, SWAT gear told them all to, like, get out, arrested people. And then that's when they started having their party. And that's when they confiscated $300,000 from the safe and burned all this merch. Confiscated. Yeah. Yes. I like that word. Funny that's way of saying stole, smoke your shit. Yeah, yeah. Like all your stuff. We ruined your. Damn. We just used your property to have like, yeah. our end of the year ball. Tension. Yeah. That's crazy. the military made too many guns like, for the illegal wars in the Middle East and they gave it to us for this exact purpose. And now we're going to so, use them. Like the irony of like doing something so evil and then partaking in the celebration of such like a spiritual drug after. <laughs> like smoking yeah. up being like, yo, like. Maybe these indigenous are onto something. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> like, maybe like we're actually just lost. Like, maybe I should just be paying attention. Just pulls out his gun. Like, why do we even have these? Yeah, you know? like, <laughs> Oh my god! Why do we even? Why like, am I even here? Right like, now? yo, I finally get it. Guns don't kill people. people I do. People. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. For fuck's sakes. Like, oh my god. That's literally it. You figured it out. You fucking figured out the plot. Oh my gosh. That would be nice if people actually, you yeah. know, realized such a thing. That's f Now that I'm thinking about it, the cops that I know of, I don't know, I'm not friends with them, that I knew of, talked to one time, held their gun one time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> one person. <laughs> Fuck. They're always high on okay. the job, apparently, okay. as they say. But yet they commit such hateful acts on weed. How is that possible? <laughs> How can you do that? Um, Drunks, I get it. If you're drinking on the job, I can get you, you know, you get a little angry. Yeah. But we, like, how do you get mad when you're high? I don't know. Like, one time I was in a, like, we were, like, in a parking lot. And I was with a few people. We were just smoking a joint. And, like, it's like one cop just pulls up, like, hot and heavy. You know, oh, like, no. scared, like, just... And like we're all just like, what the fuck? Like, what's going on? It's is this before legal. it's legal? It's, oh, it's legal. Okay. At this point, because when it was like what 2018, I think is when it was like legalized. Something like that. Yeah, October 2018. 10 17. I like how you 10, remember 17, that. Yeah. October I'm 17th, like, 2018. Stoner. <laughs> um, but yeah, hot and heavy pulls up. We're all just like, <laughs> everyone's like, okay. And he just like comes up like straight to my face and he's just like so what are you guys doing and we're just like uh smoking like what's up and he's like and he there's like a 
container like from the dispensary you know just like on the hood of a car and he like grabs it and he looks and he's like oh it's that cheap shit eh? puts it back and like tries to be like the cool cop you ah, know takes a hit yeah like literally oh, like tries sour to be, diesel yeah <laughs> gives it back like to that vibe and like we we're all just so uncomfortable and i was like i see what you're trying to do right now but it's not helping yeah <laughs> like we're all still yeah, on edge right yeah, now yeah. and like he's like and I love when they say stuff like this. Like he's like, "Don't worry, I'm not running any plates. Uh, I didn't. T I'm not gonna ask you for your name. Like the, it's like you already ran the plate. You did. <laughs> I know you did because why are you saying that? Because I yeah. wasn't thinking that before, <laughs> but now I know you did that shit. And it's like they're trying to be all cool and everything. I'm like, why would you even fucking say that? But like that type of vibe is always funny to me when they try to be like the cool cop and they're like, yeah. "Don't worry, man." Yeah. I do this after hours too, and like that. It's like okay. the coolest thing you as a cop can do is uh, not be there, bro. Leave, <laughs> literally. Like the coolest thing you could do is like drive by, yeah, and like not stop. Don't even look at me. And be like, <laughs> don't even look at me. Bro, this guy's cool. Now yeah. you're a cool cop. Like actually, don't come up to the. Yeah, he sees like it's a. Probably saw it was like a car full of black people too. He's like, see that new Bro, Drake album? Literally. I'm like, <laughs> why are you swimming as, with a bunch of black people? It's like, hey, there's a net over there. You want to hoop and post it on TikTok Bro. so you can be like this cop ended you know what's racism? Funny too is like half of the people I was with were playing basketball. <laughs> literally. He grabs the ball, he, takes like, a shot. He wanted the invite for sure. <laughs> yeah. And then the half, like, and then the other half were just standing there. And he, yeah, it was funny. And then he left and we're all just kind of like, because someone called the cops. So probably like, yeah he th someone did that's why he's like yeah you know he's like we got a call that's the only reason why i had to stop by i'm like call for what and he's like honestly then i don't because we weren't making any noise it's in broad daylight we're not playing music like nothing so he was like yeah i think there's just like a house like nearby some racist lady just saw a bunch of black people and she was like nah and then she called the cops <laughs> like, for selling drugs bro <laughs> to each other it was ridiculous <laughs> yeah but yeah that's oh, my favorite okay. type of cop. So, yeah, I just got to make her happy. <laughs> She's looking through the window right now. So if someone wants to come out, and I just slam you against the hood of this car. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's like, I'll give you five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> like literally whispers no, in your ear. I have to yell the N-word so they know it's legit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I, it's, don't I don't mean it. it. I really I don't, don't mean, mean it. it. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys, I swear. Do you guys remember that story? Or like... um. This is a hard transition again, but do you guys remember the van attack in Toronto? The guy that just drove down the street? Yeah. His name's like Alex. Alec, Alec Manassian. We don't have to, you can cut that if we don't want to like, yeah. glorify this man. But um, he uh, he tried to commit suicide by cop. So like, yeah. he had like a phone or like a, it was his like a TV. Yeah, a wallet or something. Suicide by cop? Yeah. Like so he got like, out of the car and he, he got was out of the car. pretending like he was pulling yeah. some shit out. And it was just his wallet, but he kept doing it. And like the cop just didn't shoot him. Yeah, exactly. So, because in America, like you, if you're exposed to that much stuff, you, you just shoot. assume they would just shoot you immediately. Mm -hmm. So he was like trying to be like, I got a gun, I got a gun. And the cop like immediately was like, that's not a gun. And like put his yeah. gun away and like got it's like a, a Velcro wallet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah literally. You fucking loser. But yeah. I wonder if it's because that, that cop was stoned <laughs> and he was like, I don't want to use this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot like, of nah. paperwork. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know how to do this shit, brother. <laughs> yeah, he was like, I can't get the safety. I'll just use this, yeah. the baton. And then they, but because everybody was praising that cop because it was like. Because he didn't shoot him? Yeah, because he didn't shoot him. And, yeah. and everyone was like, see America like it's possible to not yeah. have your cops mm. be killing people which I don't know about all that but anyway it was like used in the media as like an example of why like Canadian yeah. cops are good because isn't the defense for that like cop for cops being people being like oh like the cop like is scared he needs to defend yeah. himself it's like well since stop hiring pussy yeah dude. <laughs> couldn't have hire, said it better myself hire like Rambo Bro, motherfuckers hire like, men yeah. real men why are you scared as a man why are you scared yeah. don't hire <laughs> <laughs> hire stoned hard dudes hire Andrew Tate yeah like, literally <laughs> as men yeah literally I stand on that on Andrew Tate yeah top G <laughs> that's my guy that's my that's my broski. Nah. Okay, definitely not gay. <laughs> Quickly, definitely straight. Definitely straight. Sure. I'm like I'm seeking myself, Andrew Tate. I just I love you. I love to meet you in person. I would I would say hi to him if I if I saw him in person. That's like that, like the type of famous person that I would ask for a photo like for the bit. I have to have a photo with you. If I saw you in person, I'm getting a photo with yeah. you. And like I'll pretend like I love you. Just for the photo. Because then I'm going to send that. it to my group chat and be like, guys, yeah. guys, guys, look who I met today. I would, do that. I would do that with Trump. Same. For sure. Same. Yeah. I would do that with Trump. I'd be like, oh my God, I'm a big fan. I love what yeah. you did for 
the world. <laughs> <laughs> I love what you did for the world and black people. I fucking and love that shit. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, uh, no. I, yeah, I think just, I'd be able to hide my my true. Tell feelings. Trump like stop hiring pussies as cops. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Hire real men. That'd be good. Make the test like when you hire a cop, just like so you think you're ready for the job. Like, yeah. yeah. And then just a pop up of like a like a like one of those pop up books for kids, just a black person. I knew up. you were gonna say that. <laughs> like, I knew wall, you were gonna say wallet. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With wallet. <laughs> and then just see how they react. You know. It has to be not even a wallet. It has to be something much more evident that it's not a gun. Yeah. Like it has to be like oh, a lollipop, candy yeah, skittles, exactly. right? That's what yeah. it was. Um uh Trayvon has, martin uh, skittles something like that mm. was it i think it was a pack of skittles yeah it was something like that fucking red jesus christ <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> way to bring the mood yeah. down that's my whole that's my whole thing <laughs> have you noticed have you noticed what i've been contributing to this yeah, yeah. <laughs> just horrific yeah, yeah 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 of the world he's woke but also oh. says indian i don't know Stop yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> he's in the middle he's canadian he's canadian he's canadian, <laughs> he's canadian. He's canadian. <laughs> You know, earlier he was like, this is written in American. I'm trying to read it in Canadian. It's written in racist and I'm trying to read it in less racist. <laughs> yeah. That's literally it. Reading it's it in It's the legal Trudeau. term. Yeah. Okay, wait Whatever. one sec. Can I grab my lip balm one second? It's okay. We could just end it. Post podcast reflection mid podcast. How do you feel about the episode? I'm happy. Thanks yeah. for having me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. It's fun. I like the news stories. Yeah, it's good. They're... They're a niche thing to do, but I think you guys should keep doing them. They're very particular. But Thank I you. like the aspect that they bring to the podcast. It's like a nice way to like fall into just like word vomit. I'm just a bad small talker. I can't. So do I like either. having a spine to the show. Like yeah. we can just use the stories as checkpoints. Yeah. And just like that can, you know, get us into conversations. Say, same. Hate small talk. Because like if I small talk, I'm gonna talk about weird shit. This is the excuse to get into weird shit. It'd be weird if I just started a conversation like, hey, when they hire cops, they should have a black person called <laughs> <laughs> Like out of context, that's just yeah. kind of in hey, context, it's still kind of iffy. But I still think you should do that. I think it's good. Talk about weird shit is good. Yeah. Mm, bring it up hire more black people i'm like <laughs> never mind i was gonna make a bad joke no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> i was gonna make a bad joke i was gonna make a bad i take it back say, I take it, back. say it. this is the place to make a bad joke i was gonna say hire the real men <laughs> 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 not whatever pussies you're hiring right now why are majority of cops white okay anyways <laughs> <laughs> hard to say yeah, yeah, yeah if only there was some yeah, yeah, research yeah, yeah. george on. bush hates black people yeah. what <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just talking nonsense, guys. Crazy stuff. But yeah. Did you see the video of Michael Myers the next time he was like somewhere with Kanye after that? Oh, yeah. How did that go? I don't remember exactly, I remember that. but he just kept they looking at him. They made a joke out of like, it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I know what you're talking about. I just saw Austin Powers last night. So funny. <gasps> My favorite movie as a the, child. Also, did you just hear that? Yeah, the middle camera died. Because we've been gone for a long time. Yeah. But the... um. The like Kanye West saying George Bush doesn't care about black people was like oh. my, they were like supposed to be doing something else. It was Michael, for Hurricane it was, Katrina. Yeah, Kanye was Michael. Was, <laughs> yeah. Michael Myers was like, guys, donate. It's really hard out there. And then Kanye West was just <laughs> yeah, we got gold member right there on VHS of it. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see it's it. a good one. Was my favorite movie growing up? Probably not good because I was way too young, but it was one of my favorite. Like, I loved all of See, I wasn't... I, I equate... Everyone who says they loved Austin Powers when they were kids says it was a bad thing that they liked it. Well, because I watch it now, and I'm like... Yeah, baby. Whoa, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you know, he's like, I lost my mojo, and he's just talking about his dick, and it's yeah. like... Do I make you Randy, baby? He, yeah, little baby. <laughs> like, he's, you know, groovy, baby. No, it's... Because uh, when you watch it back... I don't know. A lot of the stuff that I watch back now, I'm like, why? Like, how was I yeah, watching this? That's like me with porn. It's like, how did I watch this as a kid? <laughs> why, how did I watch it? I was fucking 12. <laughs> why am I still into this? <laughs> I'm still Googling the same Formative shit. Formative years. Big wet boobies kissing. Oh my God. <laughs> Big wet boobies. Two girls kissing. Two girls woke up and then your Two computer broke. Up. Yeah. I'm like, hey. Oh, circle back full circle <laughs> so, i think we have to end it. Yeah. <laughs> we have to end the podcast it's a callback it was a good it was yeah, a good a one callback. it was a good one izzy rose thank you for coming on the show i know we didn't talk about it at all but check out her music on all platforms um spotify apple deezer all of it 
I think I'm on all platforms. Yeah. Some songs should check even be on Snapchat. Fans. Yeah. Yeah. Check out my OnlyFans. I'm going to start it soon. Only feet or Only feet, feet finders. I think it's what it's feet called. Feet finders. Feet finders. My OnlyFans. I'll have a link tree in my bio. <laughs> um, I'm like the after hours of this will be on there. <laughs> Tight. Um, Tight. Yeah. When is this coming out? Uh, uh, January 17th. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, we didn't mention Jan 6th at all. Oh, yeah. It's January 6th, guys. Day of recording is Jan 6th. And it's just a funny bit because, like, last time she was in studio was 9 11. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 9 11. And Emma was wearing her Osama bin Laden shirt, <laughs> yeah. jailed. And now we're here Crazy. for. The best day ever. And the it's funny because like leading up to this podcast, I just kept, whenever I would see you, I'd be like, will you be there Jan 6? <laughs> yeah. Like, will I see you there Jan 6? I six? was there and I'm here again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> coming down to the wire. Epicenter's ended. Rich Strike is coming up on the end. Oh.